good afternoon Year 5 and welcome to this week's assembly. Thank you so much once again for all of the learning that you've sent through to the Year 5 parents email. It's wonderful to see what you've been getting up to at home and how you've been tackling those challenges that we've set for you. Now let's have a look who our stars and learners are this week in Year 5. Your learner of the week this week, Reg1, is somebody who has been working incredibly hard across all of their learning. They've been exceptionally inquisitive in their English, asking lots of questions to further and deepen their learning. They've been really helpful to those around them and they've been really creative in some music learning as well. Now I know all of this because it came to me through an email from one of the other members of staff at East Park who has worked with this person in our key worker provision over at Manor School. So well done this week to your learner who is George. Fantastic work George, I know you are doing such an incredible job working at Manor and when you're back at East Park as well, I know you'll be fantastic. Keep it up, you are doing an amazing job. Your star of the week this week Reg1 is somebody who is earning their respect badge and this is because I have had a very positive note from mum. Now your star, their relative has been taken poorly recently and has had to go into hospital and they've left behind a dog at home who needed taken care of. And our star this week has taken it upon themselves to help their family to take care of this pet so that the relative in hospital does not need to worry at all about who is looking after him. So really well done to your star this week, who is Alex. I am so proud of you taking on this challenge at this time. You are doing such a wonderful job helping out your family and I know that they really appreciate it too. Congratulations on your respect star. Thanks Miss Gwinnett and hi to Reg2. It's a new week guys so we have a new learner and start but before I share who they are can I just thank you all for all the work that you've been sending in to me it's been lovely to see everything that we've been asking you to as well as some of the creative stuff that, that you've been doing at home so thank you very much okay so for this week our learner is somebody who has been trying really hard really persevering with their presentation in their books so that they can be really proud and really show off all of their learning so it was lovely to see that they've kept this up at home too i could clearly see how much effort and pride they were taking with their home learning so very well done not only that, they have also been presenting their learning in a quite a creative and practical manner too, which I was very impressed with. So well done and keep it up to our learner. It's Caden. Well done, Caden. All right, our star this week is somebody who shows all of the East Park 8 values in and around school and now at home too. She's an independent individual. However, she was lacking a little bit of self-belief. However, throughout the year, I have seen how confident she has now become with her learning and her self-belief is also growing. I know this because she's more than willing now to take on new challenges and really show off what she can do and how she can achieve it. And this is down to having that little bit of belief in herself that she can actually do it. So well done for achieving your self-belief badge. Maisie. Well done, Maisie. Keep on believing in yourself because you can do it. Congratulations on your self-belief star. Okay, I am now going to hand over to Mrs Hazel so we can hear about their learner and star in 5-3. Thanks, Mrs Patel. And hi, Year 5. I hope you're keeping safe and well. The learner for Year 5 Registry this week is awarded to a young man who is creative both inside and outside of school. Also, he is one of the co-writers of The Orange Song, which graced mine and Miss Reynolds' ears last term. If you haven't guessed it already, it's you, Morgan W. This week, as part of his science learning, Morgan has designed and he has made a boat. And he's done this out of junk modelling material. He has managed to make his boat float and travel the length of his bathtub by powering it with a handheld fan. For your creativity, you are the learner this week. Well done, Morgan. Now to star. This week, Miss Reynolds and I would like to award the star for creativity to Keeley. Keeley has crafted a persuasive letter to the Duke of Whitmarines, outlining all the different reasons why he should purchase Stig's Cave. 
she has used rich vocabulary choices she has used persuasive phrases and reasons she's also published her work on microsoft word as well and i'd like to read you a little bit of keely's letter because it really did blow me away now as an estate agent I must confide in you that the property will need to be renovated, but I'm sure we can work something out for you. The chalk pit is an exceptionally large space and could be very easily used to grow crops, build a house over or become a landfill site. Also, after some deep digging for information on the property, we have discovered and are rather excited to tell you that it has some old artefacts from the Stone Age inside. For your creativity this week, well done Keely. Congratulations on your creativity star. Year five staff star this week is Mrs. Sargent for her sheer resilience during lockdown. Well done to all of our stars and learners this week, year five. Very, very impressed. Okay, I have the privilege for revealing who is our storyteller winner for this week. Last week, it was Eli from Reg One. This week, it is somebody from Reg Three. And I'm very, very pleased to say it is Tiana. Well done, Tiana. It was fantastic to hear you read and share your story with the rest of us. Thank you very much. Okay, look, I'm now going to hand over to Miss Gwynett, who, is, who will be sharing um, a story um, before we sing our song with Mr. Joseph. All right, take care, Year 5. Thanks, Mrs. Patel. Well, Year 5, I wanted to talk a little bit today about kindness. Like a lot of you, I'm sure, I've had my ups and my downs during this lockdown. Sometimes I have days where I feel really positive and then others I feel a bit down and a bit negative. And I was thinking about those negative days and how was it that I got myself out of it? Was it me or was it somebody else? And I thought about it really hard and I remembered one time in particular where I was feeling a bit down about the situation that we are all in at the moment. And a friend of mine sent me a text, just a short, simple message saying that she was really enjoying the time that she was spending with me on Zoom and something that we didn't get to do very often or very regularly and that it really made her happy to see what I was doing with my life and to spend time together like that. That little message gave me such a boost in confidence, in happiness. I felt really good about myself afterwards. And so I did a little bit of research about kindness and in particular these random acts of kindness. Random acts of kindness are where for no particular reason and for no gain to yourself you do something for somebody else in order to make them smile or to make them feel happy. Now kindness is a really strange thing because it's probably the only thing in the world that when you share it, it doubles. And I was looking a little bit more into kindness and what happens when somebody is kind to you. Now when somebody is kind to you, your body is filled with all of these chemicals called endorphins. And those endorphins make you feel really positive, they make you feel really happy. You also get a rush of serotonin and oxytocin. These chemicals help to feel calm and relax. So if you're feeling anxious about the situation that we're in at the moment, Somebody being kind to you can help you to relax and to get rid of those emotions. But the great thing about kindness is, it's not just if someone is kind to you, but also if you are kind to somebody else. You get those same rush of chemicals through your body and it can make you feel good by doing something good for somebody else. So I had to think about all of the different things that maybe we can do while we were at home to make other people around us feel that little bit happier. What kind of random acts of kindness could we share with our families? I asked my daughter first, what did she really, really miss during this time while we've been in lockdown? She said how she really misses her grandma and her grandpa. And she, I said to her, what do you really want to do when this is over? And she said that she really wanted to give them a hug. And that got me thinking. Just how could we do that?
posting this letter to, Gra to Gaggy and I. We can't wait to open it. First of all, inside, let's see Gaggy, there is a letter. <gasps> oh! Here's a little note to say, I think about you every day. Right now I have to stay at home. I only see you on the phone. The one big thing I really miss is giving you a hug and kiss. Us too. Lovely. And so I'm sending you this now to show to you that I know how. I'll give you hugs when I can and remind you I'm your biggest fan. <gasps> Love from Amelie. We are so missing you, darling. And what? Oh, oh, wow. Our very own hug. And we need that right now, don't we? <gasps> Oh, Emily, that's lovely. Gaggy and I miss you, you so, so much. Well, Year 5, I really hope you enjoyed that. You can tell from Amelie's face and from my mum's face just how that act of kindness made both of them feel so much happier. They felt energised, they felt positive, and you can really feel that in that video. So the last thing I'd like to share with you for Year 5 before we leave this week is a poem, and it's called The Power of One. And it talks about how it doesn't take a lot for us to achieve these random acts of kindness. It can be just a smile at another person, a compliment. It doesn't need to cost any money. You don't need to post anything. You could make your own hug and just give it to somebody in your house. Or better still, just give somebody in your house a big hug. It would really make their day and it would flood their body with those positive chemicals that we were talking about. So here's our poem, The Power of One. One song can spark a moment, one flower can wake a dream, one tree can start a forest, and one bird can herald spring. One smile begins a friendship, one hand clasp lifts the soul, one star can guide a ship at sea, one word can frame a goal. One vote can change a nation, one sunbeam light a room, one candle wipes out darkness, and one laugh will conquer gloom. One step must start each journey. One word must start each prayer. One hope will lift our spirits. And one touch can show you care. One voice can speak with wisdom. And one heart can know what's true. One life can make a difference. You see, it's up to you. So why don't you have a think about all of those random acts of kindness that you can be doing at home and let us know what you've been up to. How have you made somebody else in your house happy? Maybe you could start a jar and put them all in or write them down in a notebook. Let us know because those random acts of kindness will surely lift our spirits too. So on to our song for this week and I think it is our East Park 8 rap. Together everyone achieves more in every situation. That's why we always focus on collaboration. We deal with other people, we have to be correct. To make sure we treat each other with respect. We can be the greatest artists in the world from England to Italy. But to do that we have to embrace our creativity. We all know the truth is the best policy. All that we do, we try to show honesty. You have to try hard if you want to show brilliance. To get through the tough times, we be resilient. The stronger now we come, any interference. We have to keep going, we need perseverance. We are independent, homework to attendance. To do well, you need lots of independence. Everyone's a leader, a champion, a chief. If you want to achieve, you need self-belief.
Help us to take care of each other and grow our hearts and minds.